Good afternoon once again. I'm Keith Ranford from 7 Eyewitness News, and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. A former Genesee County Sheriff's deputy stands accused of striking and injuring a nine-year-old child. Police have arrested 50-year-old John Dyson for endangering the welfare of a child. He was arraigned in town of Bergen Court. The man convicted of masterminding the Buffalo Billion bid rigging scheme will learn his fate in court today. Elaine Caleros is going to be sentenced in Manhattan for three counts of wire fraud. The former president of the SUNY Polytechnic Institute helped direct hundreds of millions of dollars in state contracts to Buffalo-based developer L.P. Simonelli. Now let's check in with our meteorologist, Otto Lewandowski, today in our seven first alert most accurate forecast. Well here we go another day below average we're in the lower 30s and we're going to be dealing with some snow showers. Notice the winds will finally subside a little bit later on this evening as well. Right now wind chills we actually have them in the teens for the day. So let's talk about some of the snow showers that we'll have in place. Some light snow out there now between Niagara Falls and Lockport and getting into our afternoon commute we're going to see this reach into downtown Buffalo to Clarence along the 90 and Batavia and then stick through the south towns from 3.30 to about 5 o'clock as this band begins to shift a little further south into the Boston Hills. How much snow are we talking about with this? It's going to be minor accumulations, but during the time frame that we have everybody out on the roadway. So we're going to find around a half an inch or so between the falls and near Buffalo and around an inch or even higher than that south of Buffalo into the Boston Hills. We'll likely see around an inch or two. Now into our forecast for tomorrow, we get some sunshine back. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to low 30s.